about freeing the enslaved in uh, states that was uh, controlled by the Union and outside. If they didn't get in line that he was going to free the slave 100 days from today, which marked those of you that know something about the Bible, and most of you do, marks the day of Exodus in the Bible where God told Moses to set up his tent of tabernacle on the first day of the first month. Abraham in the Bible said that the Hebrews would be enslaved for 400 years, and they were, 439 years. Abraham also, you never put it together, Abraham spoke of slavery, and then Abraham Lincoln signed an Emancipation Proclamation to free the slave. That's all God's doing. Man had nothing to do with it. Man just didn't know who was fully in control. Uh -huh. Just yeah. as when they went down to the Red Sea, the Hebrews and Moses was told them to bring them. One thing we must understand, that the cost of freedom is very expensive. Now you can just imagine by who all didn't show up today, what happened when Moses was trying to convince those slaves, those slaves then to go to the Red Sea. And by the Red Sea, you're out in the desert. No trees, but Pharaoh didn't give them no ride down there. He did not supply them with a ride. Those that wanted to be free had to walk. When they got down there, and you can imagine all of us in our mind, as wise as we are, is that when he said he was going to the Red Sea, Moses didn't even know why he was going there on his own. He was just doing what God told him. So when he got to the Red Sea, one of them told Pharaoh, said, don't worry about it, they'll be back. You know us. At the house, mm -hmm. they told the, told the master, oh, they'll be back, don't worry about it. It's too much water down there. They can't drink it, and they can't swim across it too far, <laughs> and they don't have no boats. So what are they going to do? That the sand, sandstorm gonna come and run them back. They don't even have a shade tree back. Don't worry about that, be back. But when God parted that Red Sea, don't forget who was enslaved for 439 years when they crossed over. After they crossed over across the Red Sea, we think about Abraham in the Bible. 400 years, uh, 390 some years before the birth of Moses. And 439 years, Moses came up 40 years later and came back 80 years after that to come across the Red to lead them to their freedom. No one have ever put it together. That's why we're still lost as to why is it a man with a biblical name signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Mm -hmm. The same biblical name of that man was told that the Hebrews would be enslaved. Mm -hmm. Biblical name, Abraham Lincoln, father of faith, Abraham. You don't put that together. I mean, it's too natural that we don't think on those levels right now. That's why we're so far behind, and we're not going to wake up until we figure out where are we in the Bible. Exodus 40. God told Moses to set up his tabernacle on the first day of the first month. Why did Abraham free us on the first day in the first month? Abraham didn't free us, he just did what God said. God freed us on that day, and we didn't even know. We ain't put that together yet. But you go to the Bible, we there. First day of the first month. The last time that the, that the White House was open for official business was on the first day of the first month, 1863, when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. So what we must do, if I say to you right now, May the 5th, what would you tell me? Cinco de Mayo. If I say to you that you don't have something green on, what would you tell me? St. Patrick's Day. And if I tell you that Good Friday, that's when the Hebrews shut down everything. When the sun go down, till the sun go down 24 hours to thank God for freeing them from slavery. That's the beginning of the day, day ritual. To thank God for freeing them from slavery. God freed us from slavery. And we don't even know today. 99.9% .9 of us, we just about as bad as we don't know our percentage of blacks that's in the penitentiary right now. 99.9% mm. .9 of blacks in the penitentiary for murders and never killing another black. Mm. You never thought about it. Because nobody's telling you. News ain't going to tell you about your freedom. And that's what we have to understand, is that we have to wake our people up. January 1st, Cinco de Mayo, you know all about the mess, mm -hmm. and your kids do too. You know all about the Passover because the Hebrews make darn sure y'all call them Jews in the Bible, the Hebrews. But the Hebrews shut down everything 
and called Good Friday. Oh, you know all about that. They thank God for freeing them from slavery. Mm. Who a better man to thank? If you bring me something for my birthday on February the 14th, when your birthday come, I'm coming to see you. So when everybody sat down like y'all do these great preachers, on the, uh, 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 most of them, remember never say all, because all of them not the same. God said many are called and few are chosen, but beware of the false preacher, of the false prophet. Amen. I didn't say that, God said that, that's what the writer said, and he had contacts with God. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is that when they have the anniversary, week or two before, they bring in some big missionary and all the different peoples and they rally and they bring in money three or four months. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Three or four months they bring them in and mm -hmm. get the money. And, and, and to thank the pastor for being a good pastor. Like one that writes you five times a day and uh, maybe ten times a day he'll send you an email. Uh, send me some Bishop, money. <laughs> uh, Alan, but I ain't gonna tell everybody. You know, that's how many I get. I don't know how many y'all get. He writes, I mean, he writes better than anybody around here and, uh, besides Michael Harris. But nevertheless, <laughs> what we must stop and think is if you, somebody, you happy when your birthday comes. Am I right? Right. You happy. Oh, yeah. And there you want everybody. If they don't do something for you, you insult. On Jesus' birthday, everybody, everybody want to make sure they get a gift. In my house, I have to stop it. That's right. I'm not going to give you nothing on Jesus' birthday. I'm going to give you something on your birthday and you there give you me go. something on my birthday. Now, we will give the kids and thing because he said, when you have the least of my people, yeah. consider yourself helping me. Traditional thing there is. But the only thing I had to make sure in my house, we was looking for reading over the history, trying to get back to the day that Jesus was born. I didn't see no Santa Claus with no rain deals out in the desert trying to find a chimney to go down in the manger where Jesus was born. So I ain't, I ain't in that one. But what we... What we have to stop and think is how far have we come in a short period of time? 150 years. We went from the outhouse to the state house to the White House in 150 years. Couldn't read, wasn't allowed to read. But don't feel bad. Abraham Lincoln only had 11 months of less than 12 months of formal education. So don't, don't, don't worry about them degrees because he ain't graduated from no high school, elementary school, junior high school, or nothing else. Because mm. he could come from a poor family out of Kentucky. Yep. So what we have to stop and think, instead of putting each other down, is raise each other up, raise right. and yeah, lift. That's exactly right. We must raise the conscience of the most important day in the world. Your children don't know nothing about January 1st. But they know about Cinco de Mayo and can't speak no Spanish. The only thing most of them can speak is Taco, Taco Bell, and uh, burritos <laughs> and, and, and something like that. We know that. <laughs> Think about it. That's real, that's real. So we yeah. have to be real. You have to understand what happened in Mexico, what happened in Ireland, and what happened in G Egypt didn't happen in America. What happened to us happened in America. That's real. God freed us in America. Mm -hmm. Abraham was just a messenger carrier like Moses. God just put him in the White House and gave him an army in the Navy to back up his play. Whatever God wanted in play, he had him in place on that day to do what God wanted done. Well, there was too many rivers for us to cross over. Mississippi, Missouri, all them different rivers, Arkansas, too many rivers. But he made bridges so when it come time to be free, we could walk across. You understand? Instead of walking out there and parting water, he made it possible for us to walk across. So we must stop and think. Back to your birthday, Remember, I'm hooked on that birthday, and I'm hooked on those pastors' anniversary. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to do for a person that have done for you all year. God done something for us 150 years ago, and hell, we don't even know today. That's embarrassing, and we're not teaching our children, but we're letting them all know all about the Passover. Now, the Passover, the Hebrews, every year, thank God for freeing them from slavery. They give him an appreciation every year shut down everything and fast for 24 hours sundown to sundown the hebrews for freeing them from slavery he freed us from slavery hell we don't even know today most of us 99.9 percent of us don't know today start asking when you get around i'm talking about start asking some of your your scholars you well-educated black folks of whom will be free the only thing they can hollow june 19th but now y'all gotta look at june 19th 
If three people, if you're running a race, and you got a hundred people running, the first three get what prize? First, first second, and third. Now how in the hell the last set of slaves just gets set free two and a half years after the signing of the Master Proclamation, taxes learn about their freedom, we celebrating who? The master for being the smartest one. The one who could keep their slaves and keep their slaves for the longest term wins the prize. He wins the prize, taxes. The second one would be Florida, because they learned about theirs on May the 22nd, on May the 20th. And Texas learned about theirs on June the 19th, 1865. Two and a half years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. We ain't even thought about that. We run around here celebrating the master, getting his prize for being short enough, sharp enough to get two and a half years worth the more free label from us. You understand? He just left. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying to you yeah. is it's not a thing of division. It's a thing of coming together right. and recognizing like everybody else. Hebrews have a um, parade in New York, Chicago, Dallas, big cities, Miami. The um, them level come deep. The Irish, the Irish, they have their, they have theirs all up here in the mountain, yeah. all over here. Yeah. Nothing had to do with the United States. Yeah. That's huh? right. That's right. We, you know, some of us want to get in a parade. We go to their thing. Yeah. Everybody yeah. run around with some gray, green on. I kiss myself with nothing green on. I just take out a hundred dollar bill and put it on the green side. <laughs> and on my shirt, I got my green on. You understand? Yeah, I got my green on. Okay. So, and, and, and so you can't pinch me. But we know about that. But on January the first. We sitting around eating some hog malls and some chilling mm -hmm. and some black eyed peas and don't even know why the hell we doing it. Don't know the most, there's two important days that people all over the world know. Christmas and the first day of the first month, New Year's, all over the world. We sitting up watching a ball being dropped in New York and watch somebody on Apple and watching somebody jump over some building in Las Vegas on a motorcycle on our freedom night, on the night that we was waiting and the slaves were waiting for the watch hour. Yep. And most black preachers don't know that neither. That's right, yep. that's right. They told me we be praying the old year, the new years, yeah, new year in. No, black folks was waiting to be free. And they was praying and watching the, watching the moon because they know in the stars, because they know at 12 o'clock, there's two times. 12 o'clock hits the, the clock. Midnight mm -hmm. and midday. midday. And preachers always say about what comes within the morning? Joy comes within the morning. So the next day, after staying out there all night, they left the plantation when the sun went down. The next day at 12 o'clock, around 10 o'clock, Abraham Lincoln started summoning them all to the White House. His department head, Secretary of State, and all of the others. And he signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Now instead of us teaching our children, we sit now waiting on the Rose Bowl game, and watching the Rose Bowl parade that we can't even get in. That's right. Very few of us have ever been in. Now they're opening up a little bit because of the way America is coming together and, and, and making things, you know, we're becoming so aware of what's happening. What's and Procter and Gamma and all the rest of them and Bush know if they don't put us in the parade, we ain't gonna buy their beer. Yeah, right. Or their cereal. That's right. So That's right. now, so, they, so, so, so things are here. Now we gotta do one other thing. 